maximum armor, ultimate firepower. This is the complete catalog of the world's most powerful tanks. Let's start with the NATO standard, the Iron Wall of the West, M1A2 SEPV-3 Abrams, the Punisher, the absolute peak of American engineering. It carries the heaviest armor package in existence, a classified mix of depleted uranium and graphite. With the Trophy Active Protection System, it can shoot down enemy rockets before they even scratch the paint. Leopard 2A7V, the Arrow, Germany's frontline warrior. Optimized for high-intensity conflict, it features the longer L-55 gun for superior range and modular armor that can be replaced in the field. It is the gold standard of European defense. Leopard 2A8, the shield, the newest evolution. It integrates the trophy system directly into the turret structure and features top attack protection to survive drone warfare. It is currently being adopted as the unified tank of Europe. Challenger 2TS, the fortress, theater entry standard, Britain's heavy hitter. It is wrapped in blocks of Dorchester armor and ERA bricks, making it the most heavily protected tank against RPGs and IEDs in the world. Challenger 3, the sniper, the future of British armor. It finally ditches the rifled gun for the smoothbore 120mm L55A1, allowing it to fire the most advanced NATO ammunition with extreme precision. AMX, 56 Leclerc XLR, the gunslinger, France's rapid response tank. Unlike other NATO tanks, it uses an autoloader, giving it a crew of only three and a terrifying rate of fire while moving at 70 kilometers per hour. C1 RE8 AMV, the hunter, Italy's upgraded warrior. The AMV update gives it a new engine and upgraded optics, allowing this agile tank to hunt effectively in the rough terrain of the Mediterranean. STRV 122B PLSS, the Northern King, Sweden's specialized Leopard 2. It features thick roof armor to stop cluster bombs and a command system that shares target data instantly with the entire platoon. Next, we move to the Eastern Bloc, where mass production meets modern technology. To 90M Proriv, the breakthrough, Russia's most capable combat tank. It covers the weak spots of older tanks with relict explosive reactive armor and features a panoramic commander site to spot enemies before they spot him. T-80 BVM, the Sprinter, the Arctic Specialist. Powered by a gas turbine engine like a jet, it starts instantly in freezing temperatures and moves faster than any other Russian tank across snow and mud. T-72B-3M, the Swarm, the modernized workhorse. While an older design, the new 1,130 horsepower engine and modern thermal sights make it a dangerous opponent that can overwhelm enemies with sheer numbers. BM Oplot M, the Duplet, Ukraine's pride. It is covered in Duplet multi-layered reactive armor, designed specifically to stop modern tandem charge warheads that would destroy other tanks. T-14 Armada, the Ghost, the world's first fourth generation tank. The crew sits safely in an armored capsule inside the hull, while the unmanned turret fights automatically. It remains a mysterious and elusive machine. Moving on to the Asian Tigers, masters of high-tech warfare. Type 10, the Samurai, Japan's marvel of nanotechnology. It uses nanocrystal steel, making it incredibly light yet tough. It is designed to fight a mobile defense war, capable of driving backwards as fast as it drives forwards. Type 90, the Defender, Japan's heavy hitter. Similar to the Leopard 2, it features a massive 120 mm gun and an autoloader, guarding the northern island of Hokkaido from invasion. K2 Black Panther, the smart tank. South Korea's masterpiece. It is the most expensive tank in the world. Its radar can track incoming missiles, and its suspension allows it to kneel or lean to fire over ridgelines without exposing the hull. K1A1, the Tiger, the predecessor to the K2, a rugged, American-influenced design built specifically for the steep mountains of the Korean peninsula. ZTZ-99A, the Dragon, China's apex predator. It combines the low profile of Russian tanks with the heavy composite turret armor of Western tanks. It also features a laser dazzler system to blind enemy gunners. VT-4, the export, China's modern offering for the global market. A powerful main battle tank with advanced fire control and hunter-killer capabilities, rivaling the best Western designs. Al-Khalid-1, the sword, Pakistan's king of the battlefield. A fast, lightweight tank with an autoloader, designed for the vast deserts and plains of South Asia. Arjun MK-1A, the elephant, India's indigenous heavyweight, known for its Kanchan composite armor and a massive rifled gun capable of 
firing anti-tank missiles. Next up are the modernized veterans. Old hulls given new life. PT-9120, the survivor, Poland's indigenous upgrade of the T-72, covered in Arawa reactive armor blocks that look like dragon scales, giving it distinct protection against modern shape charges. M60T Sabra, the undead, an American M60 Patton hull fitted with a modern Israeli turret and 120mm gun. It proves that with enough armor and technology, even a 60-year-old tank can fight on the modern battlefield. Terror, the Imposter, Iran's indigenous main battle tank. While it looks strikingly similar to the Russian T-90MS, it features domestic Iranian electro-optics and a new welded turret design. Type 96B, the backbone. While the Type 99 gets the glory, the Type 96B is the workhorse of the Chinese army. Faster and more advanced than the Russian T-72s, it is the true mass production warrior of the East. T-72M4CZ, the Scarab, the Czech Republic's ultimate modernization. It rips out the Soviet heart and replaces it with a Western transmission and Italian fire control systems, creating the most agile T-72 ever built. M1A1SA, the situational awareness, the export standard for US allies like Ukraine and Australia. It lacks the depleted uranium of the SEPV-3 but retains the blue force tracker, allowing crews to see the entire battlefield digitally. And let's not forget the regional guardians. Unique Indigenous Solutions, Leopard 2RI, The Revolution, Indonesia's Specialized Variant. It uses the Rainmetal Revolution Modular Armor Package, giving it a distinct sci-fi look and extreme protection against urban threats. TR-85M1 Bisonal, The Bison, Romania's engineering feat they took the ancient Soviet T-55 and rebuilt it with NATO standards, new engine, laser warning receivers, and a distinct elongated turret. M-84AS1, The Balkan Survivor, Serbia's ultimate T-72 upgrade. It features the massive ERO-19 reactive armor and the Agava thermal site, making it arguably superior to the standard Russian T-72B3. TAM-2CA2, the Pampa's hunter, Argentina's pride. Not a heavy tank, but a swift medium tank designed for the soft soil of South America. Recently modernized by Elbit Systems with top-tier Israeli electronics. Zulfikar 3, the copycat, Iran's indigenous main battle tank. While Iran uses Russian tech, this tank visually mimics the American Abrams with a boxy, welded turret and a low profile. Leopard 2PL, the Hussar, Poland's heavy modernization of older Leopard 2A4S. It features distinct, thick add-on armor modules on the turret cheeks, bridging the gap until their K2S and Abrams arrive. Now, the hybrids and anomalies, where East meets West. CM-11 Brave Tiger, the hybrid, Taiwan's unique creation. It combines an M60 hull, an M48 turret, and the fire control system of an M1 Abrams. A Frankenstein tank built to defend an island. Type 59G, the imposter, a Chinese upgrade of the ancient T-54 found in Tanzania and Bangladesh. It has a welded turret that looks like an Abrams, but underneath it's still Soviet steel. M55S, the sniper, Slovenia's gift, a T-55 fitted with a British 1 105mm L7 gun and Israeli explosive reactive armor. It proves that a 1950s tank can still be dangerous in the 2020s. Ramses II, the Americanized Soviet, Egypt's radical modification, a T-54 fitted with the engine and transmission of an American M60 Patton, giving it the speed to match Western armor. Pak Pung Ho 4, the storm, North Korea's reliable workhorse. Before the M2020, this was their top tank, featuring a massive turret bustle, manpads missiles, and dual anti-tank guided missiles bolted to the roof. Then we have the light and medium resurgence, built for speed and mountains. ZTQ-15, Type 15. The Black Panther, China's light tank, built specifically for the Himalayas slash Tibet, it carries a 105mm gun and an autoloader into mountains where heavy tanks like the Abrams or T-90 would simply get stuck. Zora War, the high altitude, India's answer to the Type 15, a brand new light tank designed for the freezing heights of Ladakh, prioritizing speed and drone integration over heavy armor. Kaplan MT, the Tiger, a joint project between Turkey and Indonesia, it represents a new class of medium tanks, cheaper and lighter than an MBT, but armed with a lethal high-pressure 105mm gun. M10 Booker, the mobile firepower, the US Army's newest combat vehicle. 
Not technically a tank by doctrine, but effectively a light tank designed to provide heavy 105mm support to infantry squads moving too fast for the Abrams. Sprut SDM-1, the paratrooper, Russia's amphibious tank destroyer. It has the firepower of a T-90 125mm gun, but is light enough to be dropped out of a cargo plane with the crew inside. And finally, the independence and the prototypes of the future. Merkava Mark IV Barak, the Iron Dome, Israel's survivalist. It uses artificial intelligence to scan the battlefield and identify targets for the commander. Its engine is in the front, sacrificing the machine to save the crew. Altai, the Genissary, Turkey's new indigenous tank. Based on the K-2 Black Panther but larger and heavier, designed to withstand the brutal conditions of Middle Eastern urban combat. M-2020, the unknown, North Korea's newest parade tank. It visually resembles an Abrams or T-14, carrying anti-tank missiles on the turret side, though its true capabilities remain a mystery. Abrams X, the silent killer, the hybrid future. It uses a hybrid electric engine to move silently in stealth mode and an unmanned turret to reduce the crew size and weight. KF-51 Panther, the apex, rain metal's bid for dominance. It carries a massive 130mm gun that dwarfs current weapons and features built-in suicide drones for scouting and striking beyond the horizon. EMBT, the hybrid, the European main battle tank, a fusion of the German Leopard 2 hull and the French Leclerc turret, aiming to combine the best of both nations into one super tank. 